everybody <clears throat> it's carrie from tiger fly soap company today we are making a matcha soap i'm using this matcha huh, this matcha of the matcha i'm going to be using matcha tea as my lye water i'm also going to be using some of the matcha powder itself in the soap. Now the matcha has a tendency to change its color to kind of a brown and I want a nice green soap so I also have my green oxide mixed with some oil here to make that matcha green uh, color. I'm using white tea and ginger fragrance oil from Nature's Garden. It soaps very well. I've used it. It's been a long time, but I've used it before and I really like it. Um, this is going to be a pretty simple soap. It's going to be, the body of it's going to be completely green. And then I want to try to do a dollop of like a white froth, kind of like the, you know, you see at the, um, that the baristas do. And then I want to see if I can put like a little um, design swirl kind of like the baristas do on their teas and coffees and stuff. We'll see though. I'm not married to the idea so. All right let's get our stick blender in here and our matcha. you can see it's a pretty dark color and I don't think we're going to get a white white um, out of the top but as long as it um, uh, has contrast when I put the titanium di dioxide in it it will be fine with me. I had a feeling the matcha tea was going to make this a pretty dark batter anyway. Now we're just going to separate out a little bit that we're going to make white and then we're going to add the green oxide to the rest. Actually, that's probably too much anyway. There we go. So let's go ahead and put some titanium dioxide in here and we'll probably have to put a good bit there let's see how that does for us scoop this out of the way real quick that batter into there. Not much though. Okay. There's that. Now we're going to add our matcha powder and our green oxide into the main batch. And I'm going to 
stick blend this quite a bit because I really want that um, matcha powder to blend in there. And I'm not worried about it coming to too much of a trace or anything like that because... Um, like I said, it's, uh, all going to just get poured in the, with no, no designs. Looks lovely. Okay. That one's full. The scent goes perfectly. goes perfectly with it. Okay. Now I'm going to um, stick blend my white for a minute because I want to thicken it up. I want it to kind of plop on top. <clears throat> Just getting some of this green off my stick blender real quick. Because <clears throat> I don't want any of it in my white. I'm just going to stick one there. off to the side for just a second. I put a little tiny bit more titanium dioxide in there. Use these. Put them up. I'm going 
gonna put these back over to the center. I'm gonna pound this one a little bit because I see air bubbles. This is still a little thin. I'm going to let this set up just a little bit. And when it's ready, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so it's still a little bit runny, but I think it's going to be workable as a frothy topping. So I'm going to get it on here. And I'm only going to put it on half. that now I'm going to try to do something here But I plopped my white on top and I'm just doing my little barista thing. I can't believe I didn't video all that. And there she be. Give it some sprays of alcohol. And here we have it, guys. And I